now what we have is the elasticity of substitution. What we have done, let us look at MRTS. What is MRTS? MRTS is basically slope of isoquant and this is MPL divided by MPK. Although we have not done, but look at this isoquant. Okay? When you want to produce, we will do this in more detail later on the, the concept that I am talking about. What we are talking about is here that to produce Q naught amount of output, all these combination of inputs are fine. All these combination of inputs are efficient in the sense that we would not be wasting any input to produce Q naught amount of output. But it does not mean that we can pick any one of these. These are technically feasible. We are talking about technical constraint, but how, how about the economic motive? You want to maximize your profit or you want to minimize your cost to produce the same amount of output. We have not talked about cost minimization or profit maximization that we will do shortly, but this is very simple that you should be able to understand. So, a point you will pick a point such that the cost of producing Q naught amount of output is minimized. So, how will you pick at that point this MRTS will play a very important role. If you remember the concepts from consumer theory, what did we do? There, the counterpart of MRTS that is marginal rate of substitution should be equal to the ratio of market prices. Here it is the same thing. Okay. So, what we are talking about is that it has something to do with the MRTS should be equal to the price ratio at the optimum level. Fine although I have not discussed it in detail, okay, but you do not need to know this. So, MRTS can proxy for the price ratio at the optimal level at all the optimal level fine and what is elasticity? I am going to talk about it in little differently also without using the concept from profit maximize. What is elasticity? Uh, how much does the value deflect uh, corresponding to some something else? When we say go back to if what we have learned price elasticity of demand. What did we talk about? The percentage change in the quantity due to 1 percent change in price. Price, okay? that is what we have or it is rate of proportional change in demand with respect to proportional change in price, that is what we have talked about. So, what we are talking about is elasticity of substitution. We are not talking about, we are not saying here price elasticity of substitution. But what we are talking about is some sort of elasticity of substitution. So, how the substitution, the proportional substitution changes as the proportional price, price proportional price change in the changes in the market and we do not have proportional price. What do we have to proxy for proportional price? We have MRTS. So, what we can say the proportional change in substitution with respect to proportional change in MRTS and that is elasticity of substitution. Okay? So, let me write it here in this particular con context it is this is proportional change in the inputs that you are using. This is instead of using this partial derivative sign what you can do? You can write delta. Okay? proportional change in the ratio of K L okay, with respect to proportional change in MRTS and instead of taking MRTS, I am taking the absolute value of MRTS because MRTS is negative. So, does not matter, I am taking the proportional value of MRTS. So, in a sense it is very similar to the what we had learned earlier what we can if we can rewrite it what will we get you can rewrite it like this k by l divided by
fine that is one way to write it. Another way to write it is take log and you put here and of course, we are missing the minus sign typically. Okay. What we have here is basically delta l n k by l divided by delta l n m r t s. What is l n? Natural log. log. Okay. So, this can be written in the form of natural log and that is what we get and the denominator here in this part can be written as this fine okay okay let me let me not use the concept of profit maximization because we haven't used it yet okay without using the concept of profit maximization i will again try to explain what is the elasticity of substitution and let's look at it here graphically we have two graphs fine and let us take one where we have Cobb Douglas function. This is isoquant in the case of Cobb Douglas function and let us take here isoquant in case of perfect complement inputs. Now, let us say this is the MRTS at this particular point. Which point will you choose? Again, we are again using concept from profit maximization, but not explicitly. You, you would not choose, choose a point here. Why? Because anyway, you are wasting this much of labor and labor is costly. So, you do not want to use that point. So, you will always produce here at the corner because you are not wasting any of the inputs. So, but how can we define MRTS over there? It can be any line. Huh. Good point. I should not say it is MRTS. What I should let me change it little bit. Let me change it little bit. What we have instead of instead of steep corner, sharp corner, what we have is a curve good point my mistake fine now we do not have a sharp corner okay it's differentiable everywhere fine again roughly your whenever you figure out at where you want to produce you will probably pro you will be producing probably here in this zone fine. Now, let us say this is the MRTS here fine. If MRTS changes, this is MRTS old and this is MRTS new. Again K by L will not change significantly in this particular case. How about here? In this case, let us say the change is same. I am trying to, you know, old MRTS new. It is not slight of hand, it is this is here K by L would change significantly in comparison to the previous case because from here you will move to this point. Again, one thing that I am silent about why I am choosing this particular MRTS, why this MRTS, because what I am talking basically talking about that earlier the price ratio was this, because MRTS is in your control. You change the point, the combination and your MRTS will change, is not it. Here you can say that I will produce here, I will produce here and accordingly MRTS will change, but where, which where you will produce actually where MRTS is equal to the price ratio. So, again I have gone back to the previous concept that we have just talked about. Okay, fine. So, in that case you are producing here because this MRTS represents the 
price ratio in the market. So, if MRTS you need to change because of price changes in the market and this is the new MRTS, what will happen? The K by L will change significantly. Here K by L will not change significantly, because we are talking about substitution. Remember these two are per near perfect complement. Okay. So, substitution is not taking place that much, but here substitution would take place. Fine, is it clear? So, basically if we go back and look at the geometry, what basically happening when we are talking about MRTS, we are trying to measure the slope of this isoquant, but when we talk about elasticity of substitution, what we are trying to measure? The curvature curvature of this isoquant, it represents the curvature of isoquant, how the, the different combination of how the combination of input to produce the same amount of output would change with changing prices in the market and that is what we talk about in the elasticity of substitution. Is it clear? If you want we can come back to it again when we talk about profit maximization and there we will figure out that MRTS is nothing where the production will take place, it is equal to P, what would it be equal to? P L by P K, fine, okay. So, it is doing this, the proxy MRTS is a kind of a proxy for P L by P K and that we will see shortly. So, now let us calculate MRTS, we had calculated MRTS for a particular case of Cobb Douglas function and do you remember what did we get? Minus, minus, minus? of course, it is always minus M P L by M P K, but what did we get in case of Cobb Douglas function? Check. A, A K by B L, B K by A L. B -K by A -L. Fine. Can we calculate now elasticity of substitution? How can we cal calculate the elasticity of substitution? Rem take, take here first the absolute value. What do we get? B A by K L. And what we have learned that elasticity of substitution is nothing but delta K by L. this is what we have learned fine. So, we have everything we can calculate and let us see what, what do we get from here if we take log both side we get log b by a plus log k by l and this is the property of log log a multiplied by b is equal to log a plus log b, fine and that is what we have used and if we differentiate both side with respect to log of absolute value of MRTS, what do we get? Here we get 1, this if we differentiate with respect to log of MRTS, what do we get? 0 and then here what do we get? ln k by l MRTS. So, what we have got and this is our elasticity of substitution. So, in the case of Cobb Douglas it is equal to 1 and of course, based on it we, we can figure out a new production function where because this is quite useful that a special class I am not going to discuss it in detail a special class of production function for which elasticity of substitution is always constant, not just one, always constant, some constant value. And of course, then Cobb Douglas would be a special case of that kind of production function, because for Cobb Douglas also it is a constant value 1, fine. So, that, that particular class of 
production function let me write it here why do not you change it why do not you check it calculate let me write it here a k b l or let me write it this way this is of course, a production function q is equal to a k to the power rho plus b l to the power rho and whole to the power 1 by rho and of course, there should be some restriction on rho what should be that restriction rho is greater than 0 probably check rho is greater than 0 and what you need to do now calculate the elasticity of substitution in this particular case and then so that Cobb Douglas function is nothing but a special case of this production function that is the homework you need to do fine. Okay.